My name is Manuela Koenig and I'm originally from Austria. I came to the University of Arkansas at The Rock about two years ago um, within the Joint Study Exchange Program for students. And within this, year, within this semester of study, I applied here at ULR for the PhD program in Applied Sciences and I got accepted there. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great department and um, I'm working there now as a graduate assistant uh, which funds my research and my studies here. Um, I got my bachelor's and master's in Austria at the University of Graz uh, in biodiversity and ecology and a master's in botany. And here um, my emphasis area is applied biosciences in, in biology. My research here uh, concentrates on the two native passion flowers in Arkansas, which is the purple passion flower, also called maypops, and the yellow passion flower. Uh, I want to study the interactions of insects with these plants. And um, involved in this research um, is also um, fire, are also the fire ants, which are um, a great problem in Arkansas, especially southern Arkansas. Um, the fire ants were brought to the United States um, by cargo ships. They were coming from South America, <laughs> the native range, but they are spreading out now towards the north in the United States. The fire ants disturb um, native ecosystems and they are a great problem for um, endangered species, for example, or um, human, even for humans, they disturb um, airport operations, traffic lights, or they are a very big problem in the agriculture. Like in southern Arkansas, there's a lot of agriculture and people complain about them disturbing uh, their uh, equipment and things like that. The last summer, 2008, I started with my field observations where I um, recorded data on, this, on the passion flowers and observed animals, so arthropods, um, visiting these plants. In, this, in the field observations, you can always encounter very interesting other animals or um, you can encounter curious people who just ask what you're doing. Uh, for animals, sometimes um, you may encounter geese that scream at you <laughs> or um, you can see nice butterflies or scary animals like snakes and I saw a tarantula for example and uh, I also had to rescue a turtle one time from the street. For the part of the research that deals with the fire ants, um, I want to. I started actually the field experiment in southern Arkansas this spring, um, where I just where I don't involve the passion flowers yet, but I want to compare um, plot, uh, study plots that are infested with fire ants with um, treated study plots, uh, which I will treat with uh, hot water. And I thought this might be also interesting for people who have fire ants in their garden. Um, it's a very easy treatment. You can just pour hot water uh, directly on top of the mound after you stick in maybe a pencil or something, digging a small hole and pour quickly hot water on them. It's very effective. Um, this treatment I apply in southern Arkansas in Calhoun County, where I also have um, someone who helps me there, uh, the county agent. And I do it with a fish cooker and a big cooking pot, basically. Um, and we we started to pour, we started the first treatment and poured the water on the mounds in the study in the treatment plots. And after I will repeat the treatment now again and collect the data about the uh, arthropods that are there in these different plots, and so I can compare treatment and control plots and see what comes out. Um, later on in summer, I want to do um, the same, the study with um, fire ant mounds who grow close to passion flowers and I want to see if there are um, any effects on their plant and plant um, animal interactions uh, caused by the fire ants. So fire ants might replace um, native ants in the interactions with the plants. Um, people, found, people found out effects of fire ants. <laughs>